Albert, the games are coming thick and fast at the minute. Cliftonville next to Denver Park, uh, another, another big game. Yeah, massive games are all coming up, um, but we knew that before, you know, for November. We knew that there was a massive stretch of, you know, games coming up and they were going to all be going to be critical. Um, we just take a confidence from the last game and go go into it with you no know, tails up. The boys are buzzing and training and stuff, and we know how hard it's going to be. You know, they have a wee, they have a wee incentive because you know they're below us at the moment in the table. I know it's early days, but um, I know myself going into going into games with people in front, you know heady in the in the table. It gives you that extra incentive. They'll be coming in here coming in here with um, you know added grip between their teeth you know just to just to turn us over so we, we're going to have to um, be on our game um, ha as we have been um, and you know take it we'll, we'll not be taking them lightly because we we kind of owe them one from last year from we didn't win a game against them all last year so you know we, we have to put Gafford talks about first and that's that's the first we we'll, we'll hopefully we can um, do on Saturday. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we've proven that already this season against the likes of Crusaders and, and Limfield and beating Balmini here gives us that extra wee incentive as well to say, well, you know, can we can we go and beat the likes of a, a Cliftonville now? Exactly, Cliftonville is, um, you know, play good football and they're, they're a good side. They've got, Matt, you know, strike, you know, they've got Joe, Joe Gormley up front that can score, you know, in any chance, I give him a half chance he scores, so we're going to have to be, you know, on our game to stop that and they, they, they like to play and and it'll be a different you know, prospect for us on Saturday. Um, ten games unbeaten in, in League and Cup, how much does, does that add to the confidence of the, the players here as well going into Saturday? It adds the confidence, you can see it in the boys in training but see to be honest it's it's the next game and then you just you take it as it comes, you know the next game you don't get ahead of yourself and you don't really look back, it's more about now and uh, in training you know, we talk about it, it's about putting the work in now and um, and seeing what we, what we can get out and, and then for, and then gear towards Saturday and which, which is going to be a massive game and um, obviously we'll have a day off tomorrow and then back on Friday to, to you know go for Saturday and it'll be it's just a massive game every game is massive but you know especially just the next game you just you just want to get that three points and then move on to the next one and as well as the, the unbeaten games with a 100% record here at Denver so far and you'd like to try and protect that if we could on Saturday that's it and you always as a player you always kind of you, you, th you try and put yourself in their shoes whenever they're coming in um, and it's a big incentive for them to come into here and, and to beat our 100% record and that's that's what we will put you know put ourselves in them shoes. You can, in a way, you guard against that, and you you make sure everybody's focused. Uh, you make sure everybody's on on their game and um, know what's ahead of them, what lies ahead of them. And we've been working on it and working on what their strengths are, and and that's our that's our sole focus is to to get three points on Saturday. Uh, and we talked plenty about the goals we scored and the style of football and things, but you'll be as pleased with the the defensive record we have this season. Very very few goals have gone in against us. Yes, um, we've we've worked out as a team. It's not just a uh, you know back five or uh, you know talk about we talk about our foundation five and stuff, in in a lot a lot of the you know team talks and stuff and a lot of our training sessions, and it's everybody in the team. You see it when we lose the ball now. It's it's you know we just back back in helping each other and getting that ball back and get on the ball again. Um, and that's it's been massive for us this year. And that that reaction to the to the transition, you know, the defensive transition. We we know we're good in the ball, and that's our strengths. And but it's what we do when we you know we maybe try that risky pass and we we'll lose it. We need to be reacting to it and getting the ball back, so we can do what we're good at. And and that's what we've been working on. But so it's pleased, but also you 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 try and get better. And there's games, there's goals this year where we haven't been happy about, and 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 we just try and get better at it. And I've talked to you about this for the program before, but you, you've played every minute of a busy schedule so far, and I'm sure that's very pleasing. You want to maintain that as well on a personal look? Yeah, that's it. Um, every like I've said it every year. You know, I said it started last year as well. Um, you just you, you try and play as much as you can. You keep yourself available, and you you keep yourself fit. And um, I've, I feel feel as good as I have ever done. Um, and um, I just try and get better every day, like the boys are. And and hopefully the, you know it's good good enough for the gaffer to pick you and you to put the performances in. And I think that you know that the work rate and stuff I got has proved the gaffer to keep me in there. And um, good you know join a good for, uh, partnership with Big Josh and. And also the boys that's been helping us, and we'll get, keep that good defensive record. Brilliant, thank you.